Hey guys, my name is Wat and welcome back to my channel. DeepSeek is everywhere and everyone is talking about it right now. I already have a couple of videos about it. And in today's video, we're going to talk about web application similar to ChatGPT that will be using DeepSeek R1 model. It will be simple and easy tutorial. Make sure to watch it till the end and you can run this web application locally on your device. If you are ready, then let's get started. For this tutorial, we would need to install three things. Docker, Olama app, and open web UI. Start with Docker, open docker.com website, and download Docker Desktop. It is available for Linux, Mac, and Windows. I'm going to install it for Ubuntu, Linux, and I'm going to use Terminal. First, you need to download Debian package. Simply click on link Debian package. And after that, open your terminal and use these two commands. For the second command, you need to replace the path to your Debian file. It is a file that you recently downloaded. If the path is correct, you will see the installation process. Next, we would need to install Olama app. Open olama.com website and then click the download button. Olama is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. I'm going to use Linux command, but you can download the installer for Mac or Windows. Simply copy this command and paste it in your terminal. Since I have already a llama on my computer, I would cancel this command just to save the time, but you have to wait when installation is completed. The next step, we need to install OpenWebUI. There are many ways to install it, but we are going to use Docker. It is faster and it's easier. Open website, openwebui.com, then click the quick start link and use the following commands for Docker. This command will download all dependencies that you need. It could take some time, depend on your internet connection. Once the installation is completed, you need to run the container. Simply copy my command and paste it inside your terminal. Then open your web browser and in the address bar, write 0.0.0 port 3000. Then create an account and log in. And here we go. This is your web interface. As you can see, this interface looks really like ChatGPT interface. Unfortunately, we are not ready yet to use this uh, chat. First, we need to download the model. To download the DeepSeek R model, go to the left menu and at the bottom left corner, click settings. After that, click admin settings. Then in the new window, click the models link. After that, we would need to import the models. We are going to import DeepSeek R1 model. To import the model, click at the icon at the top right side. In the new dialog window, you need to write the command to download the model from Alama website. To find right command, go to alama.com website. In the top left navigation, click models. And after that, select DeepSeek R1 model and copy the command. After that, go back to your interface and paste the command. Delete Olamo run in front of the command and leave only the name of the model. And after that, press import. The import step could take five or more minutes, depends on the speed of your internet connection. But once it's finished, you will be able to select the model. You also can import other models as well if you want to experiment. But in this video, I'm going to show you only DeepSeek R1 model. Okay, the import is finished. Let's try the model. Close all the windows, refresh the page, or click new chat button. And then after that, you will see the DeepSeek R1 model in the list. And now you're ready to chat with your model. So let's try it. I ask my first prompt. I simply write hi and see the response. I'm using i7 32 GB RAM and NVIDIA GeForce 6 GB video card. And unfortunately, this time everything is quite slow. But if your computer is stronger than mine, you won't see these delays. If it will be slow for you, try to restart your computer and see if it's help. Because for me, sometimes it helps. With this interface, you can upload your files. Unfortunately, DeepSeek R1 understand only text files. For instance, let me show you how it's understand the PDF. I will ask the model to explain what inside my PDF and give me short summary. 
Unfortunately, when I did this recording, for me it was super slow. If you encountered the same issue, please let me know in the comments. But finally, it's give me summary about my PDF. So let's test the images. As I said previously, it didn't understand the images, but let me try. We'll select a PNG image and ask DeepSeeker1 what is in my image. And let's see if it could understand it. As you could see, unfortunately, it didn't understand. Okay, let me try the final test. I will ask the model write for me an example of linked listening Python. And let's see if this model can do that. But please keep in mind that this DeepSeq R1 8 billion parameters model is this still model from Alama website. If you want to try a real DeepSeq R1, you need to do it with Huggy Face and Python. If you're interested, let me know in the comments below and I'll make video for you. Okay, here we go. This is my response and it seems the model can solve this task. And that's it. As you can see, it's really simple and easy. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, it's okay. You can share with me your feedback and comments below, but click like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and make sure to click bell button to don't miss any of my videos because they are really useful. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.